Yo, what is good everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. For today's video, as you can see next to me, we have a couple packages to unbox and it's from none other than the kind folks over at Fear of God. Kind of made it sound like it's a sponsored video, but no, I did pay for this stuff with my money. So jumping right into the first box here, we have what I believe is the new version of the F hat. We've seen different renditions of this hat, all of which we did feature here on the channel, multiple colors and different finishes. This one is a brand new finish and actually corduroy. One thing that people were complaining about in the Facebook community was the fact that uh, the hat doesn't have structure, but surprisingly enough, it kind of feels like it does, could be partially due to this cardboard. But uh, let's go ahead and try this on real quick and uh, get an opinion. As you can see, retail was $65. I went with my true to size size, which is a seven and three eighths. But yeah, let's go and try it on. So it looks like it's got a bit of a, a little bit of structure actually, surprisingly. The pictures didn't really do this hat as much justice as I thought. I think it looks pretty nice in my humble opinion. I did opt for black just because it's most universal. But yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. You guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think. I'll show it backwards as well. I might just keep this on because I'm really due for a haircut. Give you another look from uh, the front here. I gotta give it. Give it a good bend, bending of the brim here. I actually don't think it looks half bad. A lot of people were mentioning how there was going to be no structure, but again, um, it could be due to the cardboard in the hat, but I'm certainly going to keep that in there because I think it looks pretty good. One more look and we are off. Let's go ahead and go on to the next box here. All right, so this one's going to be quite a bit bigger. As you can see, there's a lot of pieces in here. But I'm excited to see how all this stuff looks. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely nice to see uh, Jerry go with new pieces and silhouettes for this release, which is definitely a welcome addition. But yeah, let's go ahead and begin with the first items. We got Light Tuscan. Looks like it's been treated with some kind of wash process. Um, it does feel kind of rough for it being comprised of this fabric, which does feel like a, I think they call it terry cotton. Kind of looks like, almost like a washed velour in person. It's got a bit of roughness to it, though uh, it might not be picked up in the camera. There's a little bit of like color variation, that of which I hope the camera is able to pick up, but they're super soft. And this is a dual layer because I feel like this might be a little bit too rough on the skin. So inside you have uh, a nice cotton fabric, which just feels like, uh, just like a, a t-shirt, if you will, very thin. All right, so I went ahead and put on the shorts and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of really like them, especially um, as it pertains to how comfortable they are. They're super soft, very flowy. And uh, yeah, just overall, they fit pretty nicely. Uh, for reference, I'm approximately 5'7 and weigh about 165 pounds. And uh, yeah, they finish at uh, just below the knee. But keep in mind, I am on the shorter side as well. I'm wearing them at exactly uh, where my waistline is. But yeah, not a bad looking pair of shorts if I don't say so myself, extremely comfortable. But yeah, let's go ahead and throw on the matching top and see how it looks all together. Uh, this here is going to be the three quarter sleeves, half zip. I don't know, man. I don't know about this piece. At least, I don't know about this piece with the shorts. I feel like proportionally, it's uh, not exactly the most complimentary thing I could have put on today. Uh, but you guys let me know in the comment section down below. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very comfortable. That's that's not the issue uh, in terms of just like the softness and stuff like that. Um, my concern is really based on not being comfortable in relation to how I look. I just don't know if I could step outside my house and say, here I am world. All right, and so moving on to the next set of garments, we have the off black set. And I did end up getting uh, two sets of bottoms because I think this might be uh, my favorite of the bunch just because uh, I don't know, just a nice looking colorway and I feel like it's gonna be the most versatile. Uh, so uh, beginning with the first garment we have here, the off black relaxed sweat pant. 
And uh, these are going to be comprised of that same fabric that we kind of just discussed in light Tuscan, but obviously a sweatpant version. Uh, this is the off black short. And I did go for a small in these as well. And wow, these look really, really good. These are gonna be comprised of corduroy and they also look very short. The off black coat or long coat jacket. Wow, the fabric is actually really, really nice. It feels like a, a mix of like polyester and cotton, but given like a really dried effect. I'm pretty impressed, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I, I just don't know about like the length of it and if it's gonna look good on me personally. And I'm most certainly not going to put this long coat on with the shorts uh, just because, uh, yeah, it's gonna look like I'm not wearing pants. All right, so two things worth considering. First being the hat, really, really growing on me. I got to look um, at my mirror, which is just behind the camera, and I really like it a lot. I highly suggest that if you guys need something uh, for the summertime, a hat at least, although I didn't consider the material might be a little bit too insulating. So take that into consideration, but if you're looking for something that just looks good, I'd say check the hat out, it's really nice. Second, the pants, the pants are so comfortable. Uh, they're just as comfortable as the shorts. I would even go as far as to say I prefer these much more uh, just because they fit really, really nicely. Decided to go ahead and style them with a pair of ones. These are lost and founds. And they complement them really, really nicely. Man, these are great. Oh my goodness, I could probably sleep in these. They are so comfortable. They're not overly insulating like a typical brushed fleece as you've seen on other relaxed sweatpants from Essentials. But yeah, again, I did go with a size small. You've got a lot of rise here in the crotch area, so you have just a lot of mobility and a flowiness. And uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Yeah, very, very nice to go ahead and uh, throw on the top with the pants and see how it looks together. Wow. Uh, so the jacket's really big. This is a small. And I am a pretty uh, small guy, but I don't know, man. I just don't know about this jacket. This is like, this 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 looks to me and fits to me like a, like an extra large. But uh, you tell me uh, what you think. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I'll probably I'm pro this one's probably gonna have to go back. This is this is just this looks silly to me. Uh, but again, fashion is subjective. I say this time and time again, and uh, what may look good to me might look terrible to you and that's fair that's totally fair um but yeah i i'm just i'm just swimming in this thing man it looks like my body was deflated while i was wearing this and it's just just drowning me but the color is really really nice the color is really nice all right now here we have on the off black shorts Obviously, this is going to be the corduroy version. And as you can see, these are on uh, quite the shorter side as uh, you actually have a decent sized rise. So you can like kind of move around in them and not worry about, uh, you know, being seen or anything like that or exposing yourself, if you will, and uh, not ripping the shorts themselves. But yeah, they feel pretty good. Um, nothing too crazy about them, particularly. I would say if you're looking for a pair of shorts that have a nicer texture that you uh, can kind of get away with because you could totally wear these like dressed up. I'd even wear like maybe uh, like a button denim shirt type thing or even like a just a button shirt in general, like the Locust Wild Honey one that's dropping soon. Uh, that is definitely an option and this could pass for just a, you know, more dressier pair of shorts that aren't necessarily mesh or like nylon, if you will. They feel pretty good, they're very soft. But again, nothing too, too crazy about them, particularly uh, they're just some shorter shorts uh, that would be great for the summer, so. All right, and so moving on to the next color and garment, we have here the Seal Relaxed Trousers. And as you can see, I did go ahead and take an extra small, which is a size down from my typical size to go ahead and see how the relaxed version of these pants look in a size down. And I did get a small as well in the same Pants. But yeah, let's go ahead and see how these look. This is actually the piece I was most excited about seeing in person, uh, just because I do uh, really like corduroy style pants. They just look really nice in my opinion. As you guys know, fashion is arbitrary, it's subjective, but man, these, 
these are nice. I really, really like uh, the seal pants and I don't think I could have a size up to a small or I should say gone true to size and gone with a small because I, I can't imagine these pants fitting any better than they do now. Oh my goodness, these are so fire in my opinion. You have the nice long rise once again or drop crotch, however you wanna say it, but you just have optimal comfort, flowiness, and uh, they just look so far they fall so nicely whether you're shorter like myself or if you're a taller person uh, because you do have that stacking effect um if you don't want the stacking effect with the pants you can obviously get them tailored as they are a pretty straight fit i guess um what i'm trying to say is because they're relaxed here in this region uh, they're gonna just go straight down and thus it finishes relaxed as they are um relaxed up top so hopefully that makes sense but my goodness these are so fire let us proceed shall we uh next up we have the second to last colorway we're gonna be looking at here and that is the new color that is known as plum actually it's not really a new color it's just a, a color re-release as we've seen plum once more in the past but i digress um, here we have the plum short sleeve nylon shirt which does uh, go with the plum relaxed trousers both being a size small which is generally speaking my true to size size all right so it looks like jerry really committed for this collection to go ahead and add that roughing up or a textured wash process adding it to all the fabrics because this has a dried effect to it so it is nylon but as you can see it's got a pretty nice washed effect i hope the camera is able to pick it up its entirety because man it looks awesome i'm just here thinking to myself how great this would have been if he had run something to the effect of like an olive a military green if you will and you'd have here what would look like a pair of vintage tent fabric pants all right boys and girls we have another winner the pants are excellent they fit really nicely again they fit very similarly to the other relaxed pants so this is a brand new cut um this does not feel like the previous pants as they are a bit baggier than previous previous baggy releases um overall very comfortable i love the texture i'm going to go ahead and buy another pair of these in other colors and in addition to that i'm gonna size down to an extra small because in my humble opinion i do believe the extra small was a bit more complimentary and the waist on the small here with my size 30 waist is a little bit uh, too relaxed i had to tie the drawstring pretty tight but man overall this this piece this new cut of their baggy garments absolute winner i really really like them a lot and then yeah that that wash process on this nylon is super duper excellent for the plum nylon top um it is comprised of a different material which does make sense because while this pair is nicely finished uh due to the fact or the nature of this fabric um it's a bit more insulating and it has less i guess uh, mobility or the ability to be like more pliable this material here is like a more standard feeling nylon which is to say uh, that it is thinner and um, it also isn't finished with that same wash effect it is on the oversized side and both top and bottom are a size small in terms of the top i don't hate it but i don't necessarily uh, like it too too much as a set i might wear something like this in a size extra small uh, with a tank top and then wear it with like a pair of denim and so for that reason i'm going to exchange this piece uh, for quite possibly a different size and color i do like the piece it's nice and light and can see this being a nice piece uh, come summertime and uh, if you guys don't follow me on instagram just yet go ahead and do so because i will be posting like fit pictures and stuff as uh, the exchanges and stuff come in because i won't be doing another video on this collection but yeah overall it is pretty clean i just i probably wouldn't wear it as a set looks like a getting ready for a basketball game if you will all right and so i did go ahead and check online to try and purchase another one of these but apparently there's only a size medium in the other color and then if i wanted to get an extra small in this one they don't have an extra small so it looks like it did take an l and i think i'm gonna keep this one anyway so you guys let me know what you guys think is it too big 
I don't have a choice. But moving on to the last colors of the day, we have Sycamore. And this one's going to, I don't know why I said it like that, but this one's gonna look like a bit of like a teal, if you will. Here we have the polo, which is comprised of uh, what feels like a, almost like a thermal. Um, I did get the hoodie, if you guys caught my vlog, um, I did get the hoodie in off black. Feel free to check that out, link at the top of the video. But uh, yeah, this one's going to be the polo version. I'm really interested in seeing how this one's going to look. And then we got the shorts in corduroy in a small. So I don't know really what I was thinking because uh, I feel like these patterns kind of kind of clash a little bit, but of course they are the same colors. So we can just put it on and uh, kind of see. All right, so again with the shorts, they fit really nicely just above the knee. Uh, I don't think I need to say too, too much more as we've kind of gone over this piece already. This is a size small, so I do have a little bit of extra room. They look nice. They're a nice pair of shorts overall. If you're looking for a shorts that are a little bit dressier, this can be a really great option. Uh, they're very comfortable, soft, and you have that, that dual layer as I kind of mentioned. But let's go ahead and see it with the polo now. So uh, first impressions, just looking at my monitor. And, uh, just kind of feeling it out. I don't hate it. I don't hate it as a set either, but I don't love it. I don't know if I love this polo. Uh, the branding is very, very big. And uh, the fabric, it is very nice, very comfortable. Dual layer once again, uh, just like the hoodie is, but I feel like I'm gonna get a, a little bit too warm in this. And uh, this as a set doesn't really obviously make too, too much sense, but when is fashion supposed to make sense? Uh, but yeah, uh, it's not bad. I don't dislike it, if you will. It's just not my favorite of the bunch, you know, putting it nicely. The color is really nice though, I will say, and I do like the contrast color. I don't know. I Maybe I do like it. <laughs> uh, these opinions are being formulated as we speak. I have a mirror just beyond uh, my A camera here. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'm slowly changing my mind. But uh, yeah, you guys tell me, is this, a, is this, is this good? Is this a good, uh, a good set? Do you like this piece up top? Kind of on the fence as of right now. But uh, that is to conclude today's video. I did want to go ahead and unbox everything uh, from the latest from Fear of God, the good and the bad majority of it i would say good uh the hat very good and um i really really loved uh the texture of the nylon pants in addition to uh those uh, corduroy feeling relaxed pants i think those are the ultimate winners for today's video but y'all let me know in the comment section below what you thought was best. That's gonna do it from me here at Locust Wild Honey. As always, I wanna let you know before you go, I really do appreciate you guys continuing to come back to the channel and support. Um, it's wild to me, it's bewildering to me, as a matter of fact, that we're this close to 100,000 subscribers. And uh, as you can see back there, we have an entire collection just about to release. If you don't follow Locust and Wild Honey Clothing or LWH Clothing on Instagram, go ahead and do so. Follow me on Instagram, Paul Fuentebella, and I'll catch you in the next upload. Have an amazing day. Peace and be blessed.